Welcome everyone to today's webinar titled Understanding the 2014 AME International Excellence Inside Conference. I am Jerry Strohmeyer, the Education and Training Program Coordinator, and I am here today with Scott Shive, the Director of Marketing and Communications, and Jody Talley, the Social Media and Publications Manager for AME. Today's presenters are Ellen Siminski, Lean Leader at Little Fuse Inc., our 2014 Conference Chair, and Greg Williams, Lean Advisor at Era Energy LLC, our 2014 Program Chair. Before we start, just a couple of housekeeping items. You will be in listen-only mode throughout the webinar. You will see that you are muted on your attendee panel on the right side of your screen. If you have questions during the webinar, please type them into your question area in the attendee panel and click on Submit. We will review the questions at the end of today's presentation and answer as many as we can. When you log off today, please check your email inbox, and it will be an invitation and link to fill out a short webinar attendee survey. Please take a few minutes to complete the survey today as your feedback is very important to us to improve future webinars. Ellen and Greg have also agreed to provide a PDF of today's presentation. We will be sending that along with a recorded link for a webinar replay to each of you next week. So without further ado, I am pleased to introduce Ellen Siminski and Greg Williams who will present Understanding the 2014 AME International Excellence Inside Conference. Take it away, Ellen. Thank you, Jerry, for the introduction, and welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Just a brief overview of what we're going to cover today. We'll talk for a minute about why attend an AME conference. Um, I'll give you guys an overview of the conference schedule and how to sort of understand that. We'll take a look at the conference website. You will find that everything you ever wanted to know about the conference is on the website. And then we'll touch briefly on uh, networking, the conference app that we have for smartphones and tablets, how to find assistance at the conference, and our companions program. And at the end, we will hopefully have some time for Q&A. If we do not get to your question, um, I believe I have my contact info and Greg's contact info at the end of the presentation, and please do not hesitate to reach out to either one of us with any of your questions. And you can also find, I think, our contact info online in the FAQ section that we'll talk about. So really, why an AME conference? And before I talk about anything that's on this slide, I'll just use words of a colleague of mine who says that who's been to a couple conferences, and he says that the conferences to him are like the Super Bowl of Lean. That there's just so much going on, and it is the best of the best. So AME really prides itself on practitioner to practitioner learning, and that's what the conference is all about. Tuesday through Thursday is highly intense, multiple tours, multiple presentations, all given by practitioners. So very concentrated content in those three days of conference learning. You have the option to take a lean tour and go to the Gemba. Those tours are offered actually Monday through Thursday. Um, you will hear from nine keynote speakers, inspirational speakers, also continuous improvement thought leaders. And at this conference, you'll be surrounded by 2,000 sort of peas in a pod, 2,000 like-minded folks who love continuous improvement and just want to network with other people, share what they've learned, and learn from others. We also have an exhibits area, and we call it the Learning Resource Center, and you can visit with exhibitors there to enhance your lean learning. Some, one of my favorite booths in the exhibit center is always the uh, bookstore booth that I believe LEI puts on. And then there's optional workshops Monday and Friday that are not part of the conference itself but you can sign up for um, as an attendee. You can even sign up for those workshops if you're not attending the conference. They're just a little bit more expensive. Um, but those are a deeper dive uh, facilitated by consultants into specialized lean topics, and I think we have about 40 of those to choose from. So there's so much going on during what we call conference week, um, and it's unlike any other lean conference that you've been to before. So we will not this is very tiny and <laughs> hard to see so I will open up the the full-blown um, schedule for us so we can take a look at that but just so you guys understand there's a ton going on so I'll start with Tuesday 
the left side is the morning and the right side is the afternoon. So the conference will kick off, you know, 6.30 Tuesday morning will be breakfast. I believe the keynote speaker starts at about 7 o'clock. Um, and that's the first of those nine keynote speakers that I mentioned. After that, you have a choice to go to one of six presentations, what we call value stream presentations. And Greg will talk a little bit more in detail about those options in a couple minutes. And if you don't go to one of those six, you can go to one of two special interest sessions that are sometimes consultants and practitioners together telling their story. Sometimes it's, a, it's something that we feel doesn't fit quite into the presentation, into the value stream tracks, but that it's a sort of emerging lean topic um, for something that we think attendees will find useful and helpful in their lean journey. You'll take a little break, and then you have another choice to make, one of those eight slots again. If you choose not to be in the building, you might be out on a tour on Tuesday morning. And there'll be a variety of tours you can choose from. You'll have to sign up for those. Um, lunch, and then another keynote speaker during lunch. And then the final opportunity to choose one of eight sessions in the afternoon before the afternoon break and the keynote speaker. Tuesday evening, um, we have a lot of networking options that we're trying to promote this year. Tuesday evening, one of those is dine around. You would sign up to go to a local restaurant with fellow conference attendees. You pay for your own dinner. There's no fee to sign up other than whatever food or beverages you enjoy at dinner. And if you don't want to do dine around, you might choose to attend the Manufacturing Excellence Awards. Those are companies that have applied and been had site visits done by a team of assessors, and they're being awarded the 2014 Manufacturing Excellence Award. So those are some options for Tuesday evening. Wednesday, it, the flow is much the same. Again, in the morning, you'll have a keynote speaker. You'll do a couple presentations or special interest sessions, or perhaps be on a tour, uh, followed by lunch again in an afternoon presentation you know, the lunch keynote speaker and then the afternoon keynote speaker. Wednesday evening we'll have a kickoff party for the AME Cincinnati 2015 conference. Everyone is invited to that. You do not need to make dinner plans for Wednesday night because there will be plenty of food there. And you might also be out of the building Wednesday afternoon on a, on a tour. Thursday, same flow as Tuesday and Wednesday, and we close the conference at 4.30 by handing it off to the Cincinnati chair. So I talked about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because that's the conference proper, right? But let's go up to Monday and first just chat briefly about Sunday, which we don't have a full schedule for, but there is early registration. So if you're planning to come in for a workshop on Monday, you could fly in on Sunday and register and get everything in order. Registration will be open from 3 to 7. You could also participate in Club Newbie Sunday night, which is an orientation for new conference attendees to help people feel that they sort of understand the lay of the land and how it's going to work that week. Um, you certainly don't have to be a new attendee to attend that, but it's designed for people who sort of want to better understand what's going on. And you could even do Sunday dine around. That's the same thing as Tuesday night, just we're doing it Sunday night. So again, local restaurants then go network with fellow attendees. So Monday morning will be some full-day workshops or some half-day workshops. And you can see the full-day workshop will be, you know, the schedule will be filled out and we'll have titles and sessions and everything. But full-day workshops would be noted over here. And then any half-day workshops, we have both morning and afternoon workshops. And you may be out on a tour Monday morning or Monday afternoon as well. Those tours, again, are part of your conference registration fee, but the workshops are not. You do need to register for tours, though. And then Monday evening, we'll have uh, orientation night again, Club Newbie, for folks who are newer to the conference. Just the same thing as what we're doing Sunday night for the people who come in sometime during the day on Monday. And then there's going to be a networking dinner cruise for Monday evening that you could sign up for. I'm not sure what the pricing is on that, but it's um, sailing around the water 
I don't know, harbor or whatever it is that's near the hotel on a boat. So that's Monday, and then we'll skip down to Friday. Friday is half-day workshops again, so the conference um, week officially closes. Friday at noon. There's no activities or and no tours um, on Friday. There's no activity. It's Friday afternoon, and there's no tours Friday. So that is an overview of the schedule. So just to sort of recap that, there's registration Sunday from 3 to 7 and Club Newbie and Dine Around. On Monday, there's the pre-conference workshops. You might also go on a tour. And there's Club Newbie again in the evening and a dinner cruise. Tuesday through Thursday is the bulk, is the, what we call the conference. And that's the keynotes, the value stream presentations, special interest sessions, tours, and the exhibitors in that learning resource center. Tuesday evening, you could attend the Excellence Awards or go to Dine Around Restaurant. And Wednesday evening, there's a Cincinnati kickoff party. I believe Tuesday evening, they're also working on a reception for international attendees. So if you're coming from overseas, there will be a special reception. Friday, post-conference workshops just that are a half a day. So important to remember is that value stream presentations and special interest sessions are included with your registration, and you don't need to register for either of those. You just need to go to the room that it's being held in and find a seat. For tours, it is included with your conference pass, but you do have to register ahead of time. And we recommend that you register as soon as registration opens so that you are more likely to get your first choice of tour. And same with workshops. They're an additional charge, 300 for a full day or 200 for a half day, and you do have to register ahead of time. Um, and registration will open Monday, September 29th. So if you have entered all of your details into the system and are fully set up and registered in there, um, you will be automatically notified from AME when it when registration is open. But just know that it will be the 29th. So we will take a look at the conference website. And I think, as I said at the beginning, really everything you ever wanted to know about this conference you can find on the website. This is just the landing page. It's The website is ameconference.org or amejacksonville.org. The landing page has a couple of videos on it, one of which is sort of an overview of the Jacksonville Conference and what to expect. And the other one is a company that sends every year a large group of attendees. Um, AME considers large groups to be more than 25 attendees from the same company, but Shaw Corps last year sent 120 people. I think they're sending a similar amount to Jacksonville this year, so they have a little video on why they send so many people and the value that they get out of it. But if you do send a large group, 25 or more, to a conference, you get a personal AME coach slash conference facilitator who will help you and your team develop schedules, select tours and presentations that are appropriate for you, and then do a daily debrief um, and you know lessons learned with your team. So we'll just sort of go across tab by tab, keynote speakers. This is where you'll find the listing of who the keynote speakers are. And you can read about what they're going to speak, what topic they're going to speak on. Um, presentations, those value streams, I will turn it over to Greg now, and he will touch on what's going on within the value stream realm. Thank you, Ellen. Um, as Ellen uh, mentioned earlier, you know, one thing to, to keep in mind with these uh, value stream presentations is that uh, there's six value streams and, and they all run concurrently uh, in the time slots where, where the value streams are presenting. So it's really important uh, to do your homework ahead of time. We, provide, we try and provide a lot of information on the website so that you can do that, so you can learn about all the presentations. But you're going to have to choose between you know, these six and see which of the six you'll attend for each one of those time slots. So again, very important to plan ahead and know which presentations will give you the most value uh, based on your learning objectives for the conference. And um, uh, again, just can't stress enough how important it is to, to do that homework and, and make sure that you're prepared uh, ahead of time for which, uh, which presentations you want to see. And since you don't have to register to attend the value stream presentations, you can, of course, you know, change your mind at the last minute and attend a different one, uh, but it is 
good to have a plan going in uh, for how you'll you know, how you'll navigate the conference, uh, especially the uh, value stream presentations. On the website, uh, for each one of these presentations, uh, you'll you'll see some details. Uh, now they're not all out there yet. You'll see some examples that are out there already. Some of the speakers that are up there, and, uh, and you can click on those uh, presentations and get more details. But uh, as we get closer to the conference, uh, all of the presentations will be up there with uh, details about the uh, to give the description of the presentation, uh, information about the company, and a uh, speaker bio. So you'll you'll be able to to look at that and see which one best fits your needs uh, and and plan out your your conference uh, week. So let's look at the uh, each of the value streams uh, real quickly here. First of all, we have uh, engaged people, and uh, in this in this value stream, you'll hear how companies uh, create an environment in which team members find fulfillment and inspiration as their team members participate and their organizations drive for excellence. So it's uh, you'll see a variety of presenters talking about how they keep their people engaged. Now the second one is systematic daily improvement. In that value stream, you'll learn how organizations leverage a variety of lean concepts and tools. Uh, we'll be looking at strategy deployment, value stream mapping, visual management, employee suggestion systems, leader standard work, and others uh, to get a better team member engagement and to link all the daily activities that are going on uh, in each one of the businesses to the organization strategy. So seeing how you connect those daily activities to the overall strategy and really improve engagement uh, throughout your organization. Uh, the third one is innovation. And in this value stream, you'll hear speakers talking about uh, how their organizations integrate innovation and lean as they radically rethink the way that they, that they do things in their organization. The fourth one is the extended enterprise, and you'll hear a variety of speakers uh, talking about how successful organizations apply lean thinking and tools throughout the entire value stream, uh, including the supply chain, internal customers, uh, logistics, sales, and customer service, that whole value stream from beginning to end, how they apply these lean thinking and these lean tools uh, to improve business performance. The fifth one is sustainability, and in sustainability, you'll hear proven strategies for engaging all of your team members for long-term success. Uh, learn from organizations that apply or employ sustainable thinking as they apply lean tools to processes and and uh, improvement initiatives every day. Uh, the value stream will be a unique blend, really, of companies talking about environmental sustainability, but also talking about how they're sustaining business performance. You'll, you'll see both of those types of sustainability in this particular value stream. And then lastly, uh, six, uh, achieving business results. So as it says on the website, you know, speakers in this value stream will show you proven strategies for making problems visible, for employing the correct tools for solving the problems, tracking progress, and achieving extraordinary business results. Uh, and also uh, provide your associates with practical ideas and processes to enable them to focus on the right things to get great results and ensure long-term success. Now, you probably noticed that there's there were some common themes uh, throughout those uh, six value streams. You heard terms like engagement, culture, and tools, and that's by design uh, because we think that you need all of those to progress in your lean journey. So the uh, the value stream team has been working very hard to find the best companies to share their stories in each one of these value streams, and the way these topics were selected in terms of like the engaged people, the systematic daily improvement, innovation, extended enterprise, sustainability, and achieving business results uh, was because they do align with AME's strategic priorities, and but even more importantly because they, they're the things that we think that organizations need to, to really take their lean journey to the next level. So regardless of where you're at in your lean journey, you should find uh, very helpful stories there, very helpful ideas and tools and techniques and processes, applications to take you to the next level in your journey. Uh, Alan mentioned earlier that that uh, this is practitioner to practitioner learning. Uh, and I think that's one thing that really differentiates uh, the AME conference from any other lean conference you would go to is that you won't find any consultants speaking in the value streams. This is strictly practitioner to practitioner learning and uh, each Speaker is also 
always encouraged to make sure that, that there's takeaways for the learners. For those that are in the room watching the presentation, there's things that they can take back and apply and, and put to work right away to uh, improve their organizations when they get back from the conference. So that's a high-level overview of, of the, uh, the value streams and the objectives there. And uh, I know that uh, as you sit through these, you're going you're gonna to take home a lot of ideas that are bring a lot of value to you. So uh, Ellen, I'm going to pass it back to you. Great. Thank you, Greg, for that overview. Um, you know, as Greg alluded to, there's just there's so many choices here. There's 54 of these over the three days, so so 18 every day. There is going to be something for everyone, and there these presentations and the companies are are vetted by a team of value stream leaders, the uh, the folks volunteering along with Greg to, to bring you this program, and they don't accept everyone who wants to present, right? So we're really looking to make sure that there's going to be great learning for anyone signing up for this conference. And same with the keynote speaker pages, right? You can click through all of these and see who exactly is presenting and then click on them to drill down into what are they going to present about. And up at the top, the little color-coded bar will tell you what value stream they're presenting in. So the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office will be presenting in the sustainability value stream because of the gold bar. So moving across the conference web page to special interest sessions, again, I mentioned that these are lean sort of hot topics or really you know, new and intriguing ideas that we think our members will find valuable, but that just don't quite fit into a value stream track. So we put them in special interest sessions. So we'll have one on you know, Toyota Kata. I think one that is always really popular is the Idea Exchange Cafe which we try to make it a cafe, like we say. You come and you have a cup of coffee, you sit down, and whoever else from the conference shows up um, to that session, you guys will discuss whatever the topic is that hour. And so you're learning and interacting with fellow practitioners. In the value stream sessions, you're hearing somebody present. In the Idea Exchange Cafe, you are the presenter if you want to speak. Right, and talk about what is going on at your company. And so there's six of those idea exchange cafes over the course of three days, and the topics are listed here. So if you want to learn more about one of these topics, or if you think your company is doing something pretty great with regards to one of these topics and you want to share it with people, this is the ideal place to do that. In addition to the special interest sessions and the presentations and keynote speakers that are all in the building, you might, as we said before, choose to leave the building and go on a tour as part of the conference. You get, you're guaranteed to go on one tour, and you could sign up for more um, on-site space permitting. But these tours, just like the value stream presentations, have been vetted and selected by a team of assessors. So they're local to the Jacksonville area. You'll be, on a, you'll be put on a bus at the hotel and then driven to the tour site. Um, and so we have several tour options, again, that you can click through to learn more about. I think Jacksonville has the uh, first lean dentist, <laughs> so we'll be going to take a tour of the dentist's office to understand how he has used lean principles to improve the flow of dental patients through his practice. And outside of the conference proper are workshops, right, again, Monday and Friday, uh, either eight hours or four hours, so much longer, a deep dive into a specific topic, and these are usually put on by consultants. And then during the conference, Tuesday through Thursday, we have that learning resource center that we spoke about. And so we have several exhibitors who are going to be in that learning resource center area. You'll want to visit them um, to help understand how they can help you on your lean journey. And that Learning Resource Center will be right outside the main ballroom where the keynote speakers are speaking. And then we have a companions program that I believe I'll touch on in a slide or two, but you can bring your spouse or a partner to Jacksonville with you and have him or her do activities with the companions group while you attend the conference. And we'll talk more about that in a second, but they're doing lots of fun things. 
And if you have a question about the conference, we have a FAQ page. And if your question is not there and you don't see an answer, it just says click here to send an email to me and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So back to our presentation. I did mention we have the exhibitors Tuesday through Thursday. Um, again, a variety of exhibitors that you can go visit and see how they can help you. Some are consulting arms, some are educational arms, and again, there's you know the 5S store, which I love, and the bookstore from LEI. So this year we're trying to do a lot of different things with networking to enhance the connections that people make at the conference and help put you in touch with people who you can reach out to as you go on your lean journey. So it, when you register, it'll ask you for what sort of networking interests you have, and you can note those in your profile. If you've already registered, no problem, just log back into your profile and update it. Um, club, the networking team will try to connect you with you know, folks who are also interested in similar topics that you're interested in. And if they find out that everyone is interested, or a lot of people are interested in a particular topic, they might try to do a special session at the conference on that topic. Club Newbie, as we spoke about, an orientation sessions uh, Sunday and Monday evenings designed to help people really understand once they're there on site how to maximize their learning. The Dinner Cruise Monday night, um, Dine Around Tuesday evening, and Dine Around should also be Sunday evening. <laughs> and there's a kickoff party for Cincinnati on Wednesday night. So a lot of chances for you to interact with people. And of course, during breaks and when you sit down next to people, and if you're going as a team or you're attending with you know five other folks from your company, my recommendation is to split up as much as you can during the day and then get back together at night you know, for dinner or for a sort of debriefing on what you each learned. Because if you all go to the same presentation or to the same tour, you're just going to see and learn the same things. And it will give you greater perspective and greater learning if you split up and conquer and divide or divide and conquer, rather. So AME is really active on social media as well, and we encourage our members and conference attendees to post on social media. You can see here that they're on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram, and how to find them and what hashtags to use is all noted here. So we really hope that as you have questions leading up to the conference, if you use the hashtag Club Newbie, then somebody will be monitoring that sort of account and we'll get back to you with an answer as well. So we hope that you utilize social media to help you both before um, and during the conference. We have a app that we've had for the last three or four conferences actually. It gets better every year and uh, this year will be no exception, <laughs> but it is the conference schedule and basically the conference web page and all of those details on your phone. If you create an account through this app, you can actually set up your personal schedule and have it sort of remind you where you said you wanted to be and when. If we do not have a webinar about this app prior to the conference, we will have people on site at the conference who can help you with the app, downloading it, installing it, and um, making it work for you. But all of the details from the website you can find in the app. And if you need any assistance at the conference, you would look for somebody in a green vest or anybody at the registration desks for you know just general registration tours or workshops. Also the Jacksonville conference team members will be in black conference shirts and they will be happy to answer any questions or give you whatever help it is that you need. So I did mention the companion program. We really encourage everybody to bring their partner to Jacksonville. There's scheduled activities Monday through Thursday for them. Monday is free. Uh, there will be a bus taking people shopping at St. John's Town Center. Tuesday they will be doing a painting activity where they're going to actually paint on canvas and then have those works of art shipped to their houses. Wednesday they will be touring the Florida Theater and the Kummer Museum and then taking a cooking class at Roy's. And Thursday, they'll be going to St. Augustine, which is the oldest city in the U.S., so a little day trip there to explore that city. It's $75 a day for um, Tuesday through Thursday or 200 for all three days. And there's a 
separate area. There will be a separate area on the website where people can sign up for the companions program. So registration, right now we have discounts going on until July 1st. So I encourage you to register before July 1st. Um, day passes, if you, if you are local to the Jacksonville area and you know you can only attend one day or two days, you could purchase day passes instead of a full conference pass, just a, a way to make sure that we can share the conference and maximize learning for as many people as possible. Um, so you might want to do that if you're, a, if you're in the Jacksonville area and you want to send somebody Monday, somebody, or I'm sorry, somebody Tuesday, somebody Wednesday, and somebody else Thursday, you might just purchase day passes instead of one conference pass. All of the registration information and latest pricing can be found on the website. And again, we talked about frequently asked questions. If you click here on this link, it'll take you to the frequently asked questions part of the web page. And as I said before, if you cannot find an answer, please just call or email me. And um, I think in summary, you know, why would somebody want to come to this conference or why should you be excited about this conference? It's just such an amazing learning opportunity. We have, again, nine keynote speakers, 54 value stream presentations, 18 special interest sessions, more than 40 tours, more than 40, 40 workshops, over 60 exhibitors, and then there's going to be 2,000 people for you to network with who all love lean, love continuous improvement, and just want to share. So there's some feedback that we had from our conference survey last year. I won't, I won't read them all to you, but you know, I, I love that somebody said it gave, gave them the kick they needed to go do the things they knew should be done. Um, they thought it was really well organized and very valuable, super supportive volunteers with a huge customer focus. Um, I don't think we said it at the beginning, but the conference is a labor of love for about 100 core volunteers every year. And they work for about two years to put this conference together. So it's this amazing, amazing thing that comes together through the, um, the efforts of volunteers who are continuous improvement professionals and just want to share their love of lean with everyone and make sure that AME puts on a great conference every year. So if you have any questions that we didn't touch on, um, Greg and I will be happy to take them. I know our time is almost up or is up. Um, <laughs> But do we have any questions out there, Jerry? Great. Uh, thank you, Ellen and Greg. And now we, we will review any questions. If you do have any questions, please submit them on the right side of your screen, and I will read them. Here's one. Am I able to go on more than one tour during the conference? Yeah, so great question. We guarantee that you will go on one tour with your conference registration. And so you, we recommend, again, that you sign up for that ahead of the conference. But once you get to the conference, I believe it's Tuesday at noon that we open up tour registration for multiple registrations, basically. So you can go standby on a tour on Monday or Tuesday morning if you've already registered for something else. Um, you could try the standby list and see if space is available. And after Tuesday at noon, we will open it to anyone and everyone who wants to register for more than one tour. So there's some people who go to the conference and definitely go on two or three tours. There's other people who go to the conference and just stay in the building because there's so much learning going on there as well. Great. Um, here's another. Under presentations on the website, I saw intermediate and advanced. What do those terms mean? Yeah, this is Greg. I'll take that one. So the presentations. Uh, as you mentioned, each one of them uh, indicate whether they're beginner, intermediate, or advanced. And the uh, value stream leaders work with the presenters to determine what level that presentation is in order to help uh, the attendees determine which presentations kind of fit best with them where they're at in their journey. So beginner is just as you would expect. It's someone who's new in their journey, their lean journey. Intermediate is for someone who's already, they're on their lean journey, they're already doing some things, but they're looking for new tools and applications uh, to ac accelerate their journey. And then the advanced is for those that are pretty mature on their lean journey, but they're looking for more leading edge ideas. So uh, take a look at those as you're reading through the 
presentation descriptions to determine which ones would fit best for you based on where you're at. Great. Thank you. Uh, it looks like we've got one more. What if I have more questions than are on the frequently asked uh, questions page that you mentioned on the website? <laughs> Yeah, we try to think of all the questions that people might ask, and we, we can never come up with all of them, of course. Um, but we want to make sure everybody understands whatever it is that they need to know. So please simply email or call me or email Greg. So our contact information is here on this last slide. And we're around and available and happy to answer questions. And just to touch on Greg's uh, presentation rating thing, I think the same is done for tours as well. So you'll see that in the schedule that um, we try to rate, I don't know, maybe it's not done for tours, but it might be. <laughs> but we, we, we do try to rate beginner, intermediate, advanced where we can. Um, so if it's not done for tours, then I guess it's not, but I think it is, and so maybe that's coming later. Okay, great. I don't see any more questions, so thank you very much for your questions. And thank you, Ellen and Greg, for enlightening us on the exciting 2014 Jacksonville Conference. This brings our webinar to a close. Our next webinar is scheduled for July 10th, titled Making Much More Money with Lean. Please visit ame.org webinars under events for more information and to register. And don't forget to fill out the short survey that will be in your inbox. Thank you, everyone, for attending and looking forward to seeing you at the AME Jacksonville Conference.